it's about to break off, I think. Um, Since you guys have been here, that one fell completely onto the one below it. <laughs> Is that okay? That it's resting on the one below it. Okay. Like I mean, visually, I don't. I'm not so sure. I might. I think it might have to be. The amputation. Amputation. It's just not working. Save that for later. Most of my adult life I've been living here during a kind of boom and bust cycle. And maybe that's just the way that this region is. I don't know. We build up, we fall down. We build up, we fall down. My name is Jackie Von Tresco and I am the program director at the Foresight Foundation. Foresight Foundation is a San Francisco based nonprofit. Uh, we were started by Cheryl Haynes in 2003 and are dedicated to the creation, presentation, and understanding of art about place. Uh, we have an artist residency program, an education program, and we also do a series of um, public uh, artist commissions and exhibitions. Um, and we work primarily in national park land with partners like the Presidio Trust, the Golden Gate Parks National Conservancy, and the National Park Service. We are visiting the artist Nathan Lynch. I kind of like these, that these are clay because the Bay Area was home to the second wave of mm -hmm. the clay revolution in the 50s and 60s, right? I mean, I've tried, because ceramics is such a pain, I've tried to use a lot of other materials. And this is the only material I found where that does this. And part of it's my hand and part of it's gravity. Like some of the things that are sagging like this one is actually me doing that. And the rest of it is gravity actually pulling it down a little bit. And I like that tension. When it comes to talking about place, we have an understanding that place is made up of many layers of cultural and natural history. and. Um, it's not a simple concept, um, and when and when we approach an artist to explore the idea of place, the way that that person peels back those layers is different every time. All right, start thinking about the Bay Area as a place, specifically and what defines this place. And it seems to me like maybe it's because I spend a lot of time driving over the water that crossing the water. Navigating the water is sort of what defines the Bay Area as a place, because otherwise we would be separate places, right? We wouldn't be the Bay Area, we would be Oakland and San Francisco and mm -hmm. Richmond. And that's why people came here in the first place, I suppose, is the water. So the water seemed like a major defining characteristic. Just suggesting that we look for markers. <laughs> Making these big markers is an example of a navigational system that's used on the water. Um, and saying we ought to look to find a different kind of navigational system for the city, for the region in terms of development and, and community. Uh, strange thing about making these particular sculptures is I can't see them all. I was thinking about this relative to San Francisco. I can't see the whole thing until it's finished. Mm. Like I see the base with part two and part three, and then I see part three with parts four and five. And it's almost like the way the city's developed, there we try to plan for zoning and certain scale of buildings and certain neighborhoods, industrial zones, but there are other things that happen along the way that we didn't necessarily plan for, I guess. There's a precariousness, you know, not in John, not just the way that <laughs> these look, though, but in in the way that the material behaves. I mean, it's part of the process too, right? Uh, yeah. They definitely yes. They're definitely precarious when they're being constructed, and actually at every step, <laughs> the whole time. 
there's a balance between making it stand up and having it fall over. Bay Area Now.